So excited we're doing a road trip. This really is one of the best road trip cars you can have. When this was new, this is a car you would pack the family into and head across the country to Wally World. Sorry, folks. Park's closed. Even though we were in separate cars, I felt like we were one big family taking a road trip. Man, this thing is comfortable. It's like a lazy boy with a steering wheel in front of it. Adam was already complaining. Hot. And Tanner was enjoying his toy. I'm impressed by a 24 year old car. That was nice. Not on fire or anything. If you brought back this car, you could not only save GM, but you could also make some cool cars. You make the wagon, off that you build a Caprice, a Hot Rod Impala SS, and then cut off the back of the wagon. What do you got? Dun 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 dun. Your new El Camino. GM is saved. Thank you, Rutledge Wood. So if I was going to upgrade this car, I'd lighten it up a little bit. Maybe a fiberglass hood or carbon fiber, depending on my cost. I'd turbocharge and direct inject the Rocket 350, and I'd fix the friggin' air conditioning. Hot! Tanner, are you going to put another tiny, hard-to-work-on V6 back there? Negatory, my friend, LS7. Are you going to change that in your redesign? The redesign's going to be epic. Believe me, it's going to start with a race car, and it's going to trickle the technology into the road. It's going to establish GM as a world racing power and change the brand altogether. The majority of y'all's target market was conceived in the back of a Roadmaster wagon. I know that much. Granted, you got that one. <laughs>